Okay, so let's talk about center of mass and stability. So we'll start off with center of mass. Now, the center of mass is a is a point at which all the mass of an object appears to act. It doesn't have actually have to be there. Um, it just appears to be there when you hold the object from a certain point, from any point. Now, there are certain rules with the center of mass. The first one is it doesn't have to be on the object, which is, sounds a little peculiar, but hopefully that will become obvious. The second one is when you hang an object from any point on that object, the center of mass will always be directly below the pivot. For instance, a football here, well, the center of mass is nice and easy, bang in the center. If it's a symmetrical object, such as this ball, then the center of mass will be in the center. Tractor, a little bit more difficult, but the center of mass will be somewhere in between those two wheels there. A little bit lower because the engine is much heavier than the, the cab part on top. A screwdriver, round about there. And here we have a tripod. Uh, for a camera mount. Now this one's a little bit strange because the center of mass here is not actually on the object at all. Now they're the, all the, the four different center of masses. Every single object that is made of mass, made of matter, has a center of mass. Now only one of those objects would fall if they were all stood like, uh, stood how they are right now. Uh, only one of them would fall over and that's a screwdriver. And if you notice that that's the only one where the center of mass is not acting directly above uh, the base, um, the, the bit that's touching the ground. So if we look at stability, let's consider a person. If you go up on one leg, then you stand, you tend to naturally lean, uh, put your foot out the opposite way. The reason you balance is because of moments. Your anti-clockwise moments, so the turning effect anti-clockwise, equals the turning effect clockwise. And if you remember, a moment is equal to the force times the distance from the pivot. Also, your center of mass is directly above the base. Uh, if that wasn't true, you wouldn't balance. Now, that's not very stable, however. So stability and balance are slightly different. You can be balanced, but not stable. So here our man has become a, a little bit more stable. And he's become more stable by putting his feet down. Much more stable. Um, even more stable by putting your feet apart. If we think about our sumo wrestler example, sumo wrestlers are very good examples of, of people who make themselves very, very stable. Um, here's someone who's even more stable. And if we look at what's happening here, so that's the most stable person we're going to look at. If we look at what's happening to increase stability, you can do one of two things or both. The first thing you can do is you increase the size of your base and make sure that your, obviously your center of mass is above that base. The second thing you can do is you lower the center of mass. The lower your center of mass is, the closer it is to the floor, the more stable an object you have. Okay, and that's center of mass and its relationship to stability.